Nestled in Western Australia's top end is a town that specialises in the unexpected. This is Broome. Broome. No more the sleepy backboard. The visitor to Broome finds a town unlike anywhere else in Australia. It's fast becoming an international tourist destination. But for most of its colourful history, Broome has been known for the precious harvest from beneath the sea. This Land Australia with Ted Egan, 6.30 Sunday on Channel 10. This is the 10 Evening News. Tonight, a new money blow angers pyramid depositors. Going inland, conservationists win the very fast train battle. And Sydney turns on a hero's welcome to Nelson Mandela. Good evening. First, the news motorists have been waiting for. Petrol prices are on the way down, and that's official. They'll drop by two cents a litre from midnight and fall a further five cents over the next ten days. But as Alan Russell reports, it's not all smiles on the fuel front. The two-cent price cut was ordered after Bass Strait crude followed the world market and slumped $6 US a barrel overnight. The Price of Surveillance Authority now expects to order further cuts of five cents a litre over the next ten days. I am basically optimistic that there will be further falls uh, beyond seven cents in coming weeks and months. Professor Fell says he doesn't expect a standing ovation from the oil companies. They wanted price reductions delayed to cover the 21-day price freeze imposed at the start of the Gulf crisis. The relief will be short-lived in Victoria. Pump prices increase three cents next week to cover the Pyramid Building Society bailout. And hopes of an end to the SO dispute have collapsed again. While some strikers have returned to work, the rest stayed out after SA refused a demand to buy the homes of anyone made redundant. We think it's an outrageous new claim to be making on us and we're very disappointed that the government, federal government at least, should be suggesting that uh, we should accept that. The federal government claims the giant Caltex refinery at Kurnell in New South Wales will run dry on Sunday if the dispute isn't settled. Commissioner Leary said the day had to come when tough decisions are made. ESO warned it will do just that. The company will now take the final step towards having four unions and their officials fined, a step which the ACTU has already warned will disrupt national petrol supplies. Commissioner Leary has ordered more talks. Alan Russell for the 10 Evening News. And while motorists...